first. And they're off. And they race away from the two-mile start with the Bay of Intrigue slow to leave the start for the Sundria Whitmore 80th birthday party maiden hurdle coming towards their first flight as they make their way towards the straight proper, jumping one in the chute before joining the course proper. The Zars prominence and is uh, quite keen early on towards the right as they jump the first flight. Last to take it, the slow starting Bay of Intrigue. Kimata, another one who's towards the back in the early stages. Prominent is the car. Briny Frost has this one well placed in the green colours. And then taking a keen hold is Hazar towards the right with the light blue and black stars. And close up behind that leading duo is You Betcha in the black and white silks. And on the wild side is next in black and blue. A few of these already a little adrift at the back of the field. Kimata, Fou de Trois in the black and light blue quarters. White sleeves, white cap, well behind the others. Another grey towards the rear, Rob Royal and Bay of Intrigue is the back marker as they come towards their next flight as they head up towards the stands. Not totally fluent there, the Cobb, but still led narrowly from the keen going Hazal, the short price favourite. A length and a half then to you betcha. Cook the books is in the red and black just behind Hazal towards the right and then on the wild side in the blue and black check. This group then have three lengths to spare over Shady Character who's got the nose band, the yellow and dark blue sleeves of Pat Kelly. A length to the next, Akilaya in the terracotta colours. Two lengths then to one of three greys, it can be done. She's ten lengths ahead of Rob Royal, three lengths to Fou de Trois, then Kimata who's pushed along and Bay of Intrigue is the back marker in a good 15 to 20 lengths behind the pace setting the cob. Brani Frost's only ride of the afternoon and leads by just over a length. Hazar is in second spot for Leighton Aspel as they take the turn, has been joined by the hurdling debutant on the wild side and Lee Edwards taking closer order as they go towards the first of two flights in the back straight. Cook the books. One of two runners here for Dan Skelton is in the hands of Connor Schumark and tracks the leaders with you betcha. Two lengths to Pat Kelly and Robbie Dern and then a length to Shady Character. Akilaya is next in the field and then last of that leading group as they cross the first flight down the back is it can be done. There's a five length gap then to Rob Royal, Fou de Trois, Fou de Trois followed by Kimata and then Bay of Intrigue. So they're making their way over on the far side of the course. They jump one more in the back straight, then three when they swing in. The Cobb has done much of the, the donkey work so far and leads Cesar as they make their approach towards four from home. Cook the books, you betcha. And on the wild side, a close up behind the leaders. And they're five lengths to the good from Pat Kelly, who's next from Shady Character. It can be done, Akilaya, then Rob Royal. Bay of Intrigue has passed to Kimata at the back of the field. And Fou de Trois, another one who's now dropped to the rear. But the leading quintet are tightly grouped as they go towards the end of the back straight. There's still a good six furlongs or so from home. The Cobb with the advantage on his first start over hurdles, his seasonal reappearance. He leads narrowly from Hazar in second spot. And there's only a neck between the two, just a length to you betcha. Half a length then to on the wild side. Perhaps just beginning to feel the pinch now. He's cooked the books, who's driven along in fifth place. There's another eight lengths then back to the next. And that's a Rob Royal who's made some ground from the back of the field. But he's been ridden along to do so as they make the run into the straight. And they head now towards the last three flights of hurdles. The Carbon Hazard, one and two. You betcha in close attendance in third. Now on the wild side being driven along towards the left. Alongside Cook the Books. And then comes Rob Royal. They go towards the third last flight of hurdles. And this is where you Betcher threw down the challenge to the Cobb and Hazar is being ridden back in third. He's got three or four lengths to find. Staying on for pressure is Cook the Books, one of the first of the leaders under pressure, but he is keeping on well. But you betcher's taken over from the Cobb as they go towards the penultimate flight. You betcher at two from home, jumps it soundly. Now three, four lengths clear from the Cobb in second place. Six lengths to Hazar, who can find no more in third. The leaders head towards the final flight. You betcher's gone clear. You betcher by five lengths. A little awkward at the final flight. The Cobb took it in second. An eight length break to Hazar in third and then staying on in fourth place cook the books racing into the closing stages it is you betcha but he's having to be ridden right out here because the cob is keeping on in second place but still four lengths behind as they go towards the line and it's you betcha out in front for Ben Jones and takes the first in good style wins by three lengths the cob is second and cook the books stayed on better than Hazar who was keen in the early stages back in fourth and they were ahead of it can be done who's made some late ground